Welcome back everyone. I kind of wanted to break down a really big rumor that's going to be coming out basically with iOS 16. This is the next major release from Apple and this is going to be affecting a lot of different iPhones. And to be honest, if you own any of these older iPhones, I just want to let you know these iPhones are probably going to be ending soon in terms of support and it's probably going to be best possibly if you go and upgrade your iPhone at some point. You don't necessarily have to do it today, but it is one of those things you should probably consider. Now, first of all, every device that pretty much has that Apple A9 chip inside of it is going to be affected one way or another. Now, with the Apple A9X chip that some devices have, I would assume those may end up getting support, but for any iPad or iPhone that has the A9 chip, those are pretty much going to be removed as far as the rumors are suggesting. Now, these iPhones include the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6S Plus, and the iPhone SE first generation. Now, those iPhones, pretty much, you know, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus came out back in 2015. And these aren't necessarily old, super old iPhones, but they are pretty old iPhones as of now. They are seven years old. They're going to be seven years old this year. And that's actually pretty insane to me that these iPhones ended up getting support for that long. These are relatively older iPhones, and I'm actually surprised that they got support for this long. But again, that's a really good thing that Apple ended up doing. And I'm super proud they did that. But one of the biggest things to keep in mind with something like both these or all three of these devices is that if all the rumors are even somewhat true or if Apple's past behavior kind of showcases what they're going to be doing in the future, it could potentially mean that the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and the iPhone SE first generation could actually end up getting supplemental security updates on iOS 15. What does that mean? Well, if you remember with the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6, these iPhones will actually probably end up getting software support for the next couple of, maybe the next year or so throughout iOS 15. So what I think is going to happen is once iOS 16 comes out, it's going to have all these cool features. We're going to have all this cool stuff. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are going to you know, be able to get those updates and all the newer iPhones after that. But then the iPhone, once the iOS 16 update comes out, there could be an iOS 15 update that also comes out at the same time iOS 16 officially comes out. But what's going to happen is those updates are only going to be supported for the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE first generation. Those updates are not going to be cycled over for any other device in this specific standpoint. So because of that, I truly do think something like the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE first generation are still going to be here to stay. I don't think anything's going to happen to them, but this does mean that you should probably get ready to go and upgrade your iPhone at some point. You don't necessarily have to do it today, but do keep in mind that if the updates, you know, cycles are true, you will probably end up wanting to upgrade your iPhone sooner than later, at least in my opinion. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.